But they have parted ways from Jamaat Islami. They had parted ways from Jamaat Islami. Does it concern you as the Amir of Jamaat Islami that there could be people within your network or who have passed through your Jamaat who have taken to this I, kind of violence? I, I, I uh, think it's the other way around. In my personal opinion or analysis, things are not good and they are not shaping better. And people have started getting frustrated, whatever is happening all around. And frustrated people can do anything or they can be used by anybody. So particularly the religious people, there are many groups and there are many organizations, there are many individuals who we also know and everybody else knows. But uh, they think that whatever is going on in this country, uh, is everything is going against the country. Their frustration is... Uh, uh, so it's a rebellion, a kind of a rebellion. You can say it in this word also. But this is not uh, something positive for the country and for the nation. So what would, be, what would be your message to them? My message is that there should be uh, enforcement of law in the country. Constitution of the country should be taken as constitution. And all the institutions, they should not fight with, between themselves. Right. You know, coming from the Amir of the Jamaat, it will mean a lot to those young minds who have taken to violence. What is the difference, please clarify for us, between a martyr and a terrorist? Things have uh, complicated. Lines are blurred? As they say, that Americans who are fighting in this region, they will not be termed as martyrs. But then they raise the question that whosoever is supporting Americans and conducting their policies, and looking after their priorities, if he dies, how can he be called a martyr? So it, it, this is something very confusing. At present, the war of terror is not our war, in my personal opinion and collective Even though opinion. the fire has come to you in, in as, as close when, as when the war now? When President Bush announced the war of terror, even at that very moment, we were of the opinion that this is not our... He said that we shall wipe out terrorism. And the consensus of the resolution of the parliament passed from 8th October to 22 October. There was a camera session, camera, a session in camera in the, in the parliament. The consensus of the resolution is also said, number one, that there should be an independent foreign policy. And number two, there should be a dialogue with all the stakeholders. Do you, this so you obviously have your sympathies with those people who are fighting the jihad against the Americans. Now, you were also recently photographed with the son-in-law of Gulbuddin Hikpatyar receiving him at the airport. Are you in touch with them? Are you, do you have sympathies with them? No, no touch. Neither they have anything uh, to communicate with us, nor we have any resources to communicate with but them. But you're de definitely in touch with the son-in-law. With the? With the son-in-law of Gulbuddin Hikmatyar, whom you were photographed with. I have met with. him once. And during the last one year. All right. And uh, since there was a problem of language, uh, you couldn't understand what he was uh, saying. I could not properly communicate or understand whatever he was saying, and perhaps the same was true about him. Now the Americans are going to be negotiating with the Taliban, uh, at, or the Karzai government is going to be negotiating with the Taliban. So I'm just wondering, what was the message that Gulbuddin Hikmatyar brought to you, and if you would be willing, if asked, to play a kind of a mediating role? Our role. own opinion is that there should be dialogue and jirga, not only in Afghanistan, but also in Pakistan. If Americans are vehemently defeated in, in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. they have decided to have a jirga in Kabul, they have decided to have a conference in London, and they said that good Taliban and bad Taliban, and they, they want to hide their defeat. Mm -hmm. So the Pakistan army and the Pakistan government should also realize and they should, uh, 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 the writing on the wall is very clear that they should also have a dialogue and that was the consensus of the resolution of the parliament. Right. That without having a dialogue we cannot resolve the issue. Munawar Hassan Saab, there is one other accusation that Benazir Bhutto makes in her book Reconciliation where she says that Osama bin Laden came here to Mansoura in Lahore and offered the jamaat islam came here in Mansoura, uh -huh. in Lahore, and offered the jamaat islami and Mia Nawaz Sharif money to destabilize her government. Is it true or is it not? The Nazim government did not need any money to destabilize. He, she himself, she herself was uh, uh, all free to but destabilize. But has Osama bin Laden ever this visited is, Mansoura? This is rubbish. This is rubbish. He has never visited this Mansoura. Total lie. I haven't met him here. Mm -hmm. There's another statement that uh, I must clarify from you because it concerns a certain minority community. 
and you were you claimed last month that the MDs are in denial mode over accepting themselves as minority, calling upon the government to take notice of the situation or khatme in the Buwat movement will be launched. Now, what do you expect the government to do? How do they in make fact, the MDs feel like in a minority? In fact, constitutionally, they are minorities. Through a, an amendment in the 1973 constitution, the whole parliament led by Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto, they have decided that Ahmadis are uh, minorities. Granted. But how if, can the government make he, them feel like a minority? If a, if, if a Hindu community starts calling its mandar a mosque, a masjid, or So what six, should the government let do? Let me complete. What should the government do? Let me complete. If uh, six, uh, six, six uh, started calling their gurdwara as masjid, we should shout that they cannot call their uh, uh, these places masjid, my, or, um, either it be a mandir or a... The same is true about Qadi. Although there is not a law making up after that resolution, but neither they can call themselves Muslims. But what can the government do, sir? In this case, what the, can the government do? The government do? should implement. They should, they should go to when, MDs when and say, don't say, call your uh, When a mosque, person no? who is a Hamidi yeah. and he believes in Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well as he believes in Muslim. But the government, how can the government implicate what government the MDs should government say? Government does not do anything. Government, uh, government. But you've asked the government to do something. Yes, we do Otherwise, ask the, a, a situation. Because we give, the, we give our taxes to government. That is why we have Because you've said that otherwise the khatme and the movement would be launched if the government does nothing. Then the government would feel for, sorry for that. So what does what should the government do then? Sir? The government should try to implement the law. How? And the spirit of the constitution. They know it very well. They know it no, very but well. I would you like to know from the Amir of the Jamaat Islami how should the government, if you can provide guidance. There is a law government. of the land, and if they, whatever laws there are, they should try to implement that. Okay. Lastly, uh, Munawar Hassan Saab, I like to ask you that there is an emergence of the new right wing. People are calling them the Taliban or people who've taken to the gun. You do not see eye to eye with some of the moderate parties even, like PMLN, which at one point you did see eye to eye with them, because you were in alliance with them. So what is the future of the Jamaat Islami then going to be? Well, as far as future is concerned, the future of every political party is in the balance. And every political party is waiting for the moment the elections are called. We are also open to every option. If Mr. Nawaz Sharif wants to become the Prime Minister of the country, presently he is only in Punjab. In the uh, three other provinces he does not exist. If, would, if he would like to become a, uh, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, he should see that in all the provinces he should have a say and he should have a group of people supporting him and he should have a representation electorally. You would be open so, to an alliance with me and Nawaz Sharif? With, with everybody. With everybody. With everybody. With Even open. though you say that he actually, uh, you know, uh, took a U-turn in, in the APDM and went against your wishes and contested elections, you would still trust him? We are open to everybody, to all the political parties, to all the political figures. Your critics would then say that uh, Nawar Hassan Saab, why do you want to trust the same people who have defied your uh, principles and have gone against your wishes, why would you trust them again just for political expediency? The, this is political expediency, no doubt, but basically the whole society is being conducted or governed by political decision making. And at the moment when you have to decide things, you take a stock of the things. You, you analyze the whole thing and only then you will be in a position to uh, say good or bad.